Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at quick parts. So the first part is the insert tab and these cover pages. All of these are part of the building blocks gallery that you get, but you can access these from the insert tab. Otherwise, it's the quick parts tab over here and building blocks organizer. So this is what I want to talk about. So you can see I've got lots of auto text entries, which I've done. These are useful. But further down, you get the same cover pages that were available through this option here. So let's just close that for a second and select one of these cover pages and let's have a look what, what's it all about. Um, so pick this one. Um, not that one. That one. Okay, so first of all, you've got a design layout and then you've got some little text blocks here for you to type in certain information. So the document title, so I'll just call it Waterloo and then subtitle June 1815, for example. And then you're meant to put some information there. So I'll just do a little bit of text there course title now I don't want that one so I'm just going to highlight it and delete that off now that's that's a field that's coming in from um, document properties that's why it's got my name there and I don't actually want that there either so to get rid of these you can just click on that like that to get rid of it so there's your cover page and there's the rest of your documents now if you don't like this picture you can you can right click on this and change the picture change picture stock images that'll do okay so that's um, part of quick parts but just looking at the cover pages so you've got a cover page for a document so I used to use one of these um, I think I used to use that one or one similar to that for all my training manuals in fact it's probably that one blank no color so I didn't want to use a lot of ink now these fields that you can see here are if I go to the developer tab and if you haven't got the developer tab on you need to go file options customize ribbon and just tick developer there just cancel that so these are um, these sort of boxes so if I just click there you can just type in there it's as simple as that that's all that is it's just been put onto this and saved as a cover page like so now inside quick parts you have the building blocks organizer and if you come down past these first few let's go to cover pages you can see the same cover pages uh, sitting there and further down you've got headers and footers there's footers different styles so different styles so when you select any of these basically you're like it's like putting a sellotape strip across the bottom of your documents if you've got anything in the place already that will go over the top of it so you've just got to be careful there i'll show you that in a second and then you've got headers and different types of page numbers and so on and so on so these are all parts of um, building a document blocks that you've already got preset inside word that you can utilize but the good news is you can add your own and that's probably what you would want to be doing adding your own so you've got your own style your own company logos and stuff like that in your quick part so if i just close this document um, don't save get a new document just make that a bit bigger so let's say I want to create a footer so if I just double click at the header and I'll go to footer so my footer wants to have um, the file reference and page number so if I go page number first well file reference first off so to get the file reference, I need to go insert quick parts field and then 
looking down here you're looking for file file name and then you've got the option there add path so that's the add path to it so click ok to that so it's going to come up with documents so it hasn't been saved yet if i press tab then again i can then insert a page go back to header and footer i can do page numbers bottom of the page just a simple one on the right there now you see what's happened there that's the strip of paper because these are from the quick parts gallery and that is like a strip of paper or sellotape going across so that's actually hidden my file path so i'm just going to do undo so what you have to do if you want to do this you'll have to do that manually through the field option so um insert quick parts field so now we need page number so let's go down to page number you can go at the top there you've got um, different options there page and then you can do that one okay and then it doesn't overwrite the previous one so if i just come out of this and just to show you how this would work. If I save this document, Control S, just call it Steve. So it's now called Steve. I need to update this, so I'm highlighting it. I'm going to press the, press the F9 key, the function key, then it gives you the path of where that is. Now, if I want this to be available in the Quick Parts Gallery, what I need to do is, is save it as that. So I've highlighted this. And now what I want to do is go back to the insert tab, quick parts, and then you have an option at the bottom there, save selection to quick parts gallery. And I'll call it um, easy. It's going to go into footers and category. These are categories I've done before. I'll just put it back to general and then click OK. So then I've saved that. So if I now want to add that to a new page, if I just close this page, I'll create a new page, Control N for new, and then get myself into headers and footers, go to footer, and then you've got insert quick parts, and you're looking for your one, so it should be in this list, in footers. So we're looking for easy. There it is. And there it is there. So you just insert that and it comes in there because we haven't saved this document. It hasn't picked it up, but there's your quick part footer. Now, let me just try something. If I type easy and then F3, it brings it into the document there. So the key command, because I called it easy. So if I just get a new document, so I'll show you that one. Get back into the header and footer. If I type easy, which is what I called it, and then do the F3 function key, that is the key command to bring in the quick part auto text information. So it's at the bottom there. So I'll just close that one down. Now the other, the other parts you've got in um, the Quick Parts Gallery, as I showed you earlier on, building blocks, uh, the headers and footers and the pages. So there's just one other little thing I want to talk about. And on one of the cover pages, we had document information. I'm not sure which one it was, but it doesn't matter. Let me insert that. So, I think it was the one with the abstract on it, so it had the author in there. Yeah, so these are just preset fields that people have saved into the Quick Parts Gallery, and you can do exactly the same for a cover page as well. But if I go into um, the Developer tab, these are the tools that we're looking at that we've created there. But you can also insert um, document properties from the quick parts gallery and this option 
or field so they're both in the same place so that author was just like that that's what's coming up with me don't want it to be there move it down a bit so you got the author and then any other document properties that you want to bring in through quick parts that's the abstract any comments company and stuff like that if it's been filled in it'll be in there so that will be it's easy training typo like so there you go so that's just a quick look at the quick parts and the building blocks organizer and gallery how to save things to it and I've already mentioned on a previous session but I'll just tell you now um, you can also if I type in a little keyword there and press enter I've also saved a paragraph which would be if I highlight these two lines same process you go to quick parts save selection or you go to auto text and save selection to the auto text gallery that's just a quicker way straight in there I'll just call it it's I won't call it it's actually I'll call it um, it's easy or one word if you type a, a word less than four characters or four symbols it you would need the f3 function key to activate it but this one will come up with the tooltip so it's called it's easy okay and then whenever I type it's easy it'll come up with a tooltip I can just press enter and it brings that in it's as simple as that I could also go the long way around and just find it through the building blocks gallery it will be in here somewhere but that's all I want to show you on this little session how to use the um, quick parts how to create your own little quick part um, footer in this case and a quick look at the um, a paragraph and text and document properties so hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you on the next one